Today I was inspired to write and I wanted to make a recording of what came to me today. So I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to read it out and um, tell you what I'm thinking about it. So obviously I decided to call it What Will You Say? What will you say when the light comes to play? Scans over sharp angles revealing dark shadows. Did you know they were there? Illuminati illuminated, see it now clear. Our freedom castrated, our captivity you held dear. What kept you there, fear? Clear light reveals anger, hate and fear in a system endemic, no way out of here. And now you see it, what can you do? Will you fight for your freedom, pick up your tools, come together in peace, march, cry, write a haiku? Send peace to halt hatred, love to cure division, give kindness to heal fear, understanding to harness anger. Divided they conquer us, Together we stand. We are love. We are light. We illuminated the system. We are the power. It lies within. When I was thinking about these things, it actually started coming to me in my sleep last night and stayed with me in the morning, which it doesn't always do. But it felt important to speak about the situation we find ourselves in currently and how we are controlled by the powers that be in various ways and this lies in lots of areas of life. There are aspects of politics, of the legal system, of different things that are obviously um, they're setting boundaries for us and those are kind of the more obvious ones but people with real power, people with money, they have a say in so many different things, they're able to start wars because they want the profit, they're able to spread fear, to divide us, to find any means or way that they would like to have more power, more money, and they don't mind if it hurts the individual, the community, the groups, the masses. And I wanted to create something that was able to put that into a feeling and a process in the poem that would span time, not just a snapshot of this time, was also open to interpretation because everything comes in rounds and flows that come round again and again and we may surpass one um, form of monster and there may be another one in future. But together we do have power together we can come together and say we don't want this we don't want that you know there's lo loads of things that are endemic in our system that come from fear and hate that we don't want um, a lot of them are in the media right now a lot of them are getting less time in the media but there are various things to consider you'll have experiences yourself that you're considering at this time You'll have experiences that your loved ones have and we can come together to say isn't the world beautiful isn't nature beautiful it doesn't have to be all fear and hatred everyone has the capacity to love to see beauty to enjoy the world and to share the love they have and the peace that they have. For people who don't know how to love, 
to show them love, to show them how life can be. It does take a really long time. Any change takes a really long time. And it's really hard to accept change. But when it's for the positive, it's really worth all of the hard work. So please feel free to go back over and read or listen to the poem again. If you have any insights you would like to share, then I welcome any communications, discussions around it. And if people want to converse with each other, I don't necessarily have to be involved, then that's fine. Obviously, just with respect for everyone's opinions and experiences, which could be very different to your own. And let's see if we can all enjoy the world in peace together, find ways to move forward together, bringing the light from within us, the love from within us, feeding other people's love and light, other beings' love and light, plants, animals, who also feed on light. Plants that feed us with oxygen and we give them our care and we make sure they have water and it doesn't rain. We make sure their soil is fertile. And we let them see the light. We put them in positions where they can see the light. And we can do that with each other too. We can help each other be in the light, see the light and feel the light within. Lots of different forms of light. I invite you to look around you as you go about your day to day and look for sources of light, different types of light, different types of love. Become aware of just how much there actually is and how strong it is. I hope you enjoy your day to day. And you move more towards the love and the light with courage. And that others will happily join you there too.